The stars and moon remind me of you. I don't know what to say. It might make you worse. I don't understand what her problem is. I think she's just a fish. Well, the boys got off to a mighty start last night. St. James's Church isn't exactly what you'd call an arena. The max we can fit into these hard wooden pews is 85 lucky people. And they tell you they love you, but they don't mean it. I don't think they know what they mean. If you're not on Dingle, it's all right. You can still be a part of all of this. We're streaming live tonight on guardian.co.uk. Was cold in there with darkness creeping in. Tonight we've got Paul Buchanan, local natives, and two bands specially chosen by Aaron Desner from the National, Lou Luke, and this is the kit. The spores all settling. few years there's been a huge resurgence in folk music in the UK. I say that in a broad term, using the term very broadly, but there, it has become very popular again. Yeah, I think songs have become popular again and that and then that just gets called folk music, which is, which is sort of true really. I mean Kraftwerk, they called themselves a folk band, didn't they? So it's just sort of music for the people. Soak us to the skin. Soak Everything that happens inside in the church ends up here in the outside broadcast truck before it gets beamed around the world. This is the side people don't see. You're the one whispering into the ears of all the cameramen who we can see at the front <laughs> of the other voices. The whispering? Stage. You haven't talked to the cameraman yet. <laughs> it's, um, it is, I tell you, yeah, it's, and this is a hugely impressive shot, but magic it kind of isn't. The magic happens on the stage. All we are here to do is record whatever happens up there. We can't make what happens up there any better than it is. Are you limited in what you can fit on the stage in terms of the bands and then the setup that, you, that you've yeah, got and the that's, I think that's part of what's always been brilliant about other voices, that things tend to be different. Sometimes just because you physically can't fit the full ensemble in, sometimes because you physically can't afford to bring the full ensemble to Dingle in the middle of December. So what you get here tends to be strange and indeed unique setups. Amy Winehouse, as an example, never played live with just a guitar player and a bass player. She played at the piano, got a guitar and a bass player and a drummer, but never, never that way. Many bands ever showed up not realising the scale of the church. Yeah, super furry animals and their giant articulated truck. And you know, it's not that they haven't been told, um, it's that they kind of think we're, you know, yeah, sure, right, yeah, no, we'll bring things anyway. I mean, the truck, they had a truck this size, but they backed in in front of the church and just shoveled gear out. There was, uh, seriously, the guys had to walk on fly cases down the nave of the church. Did anyone actually get in to see them in the church? They, they realised the error of their ways and removed quite an event. <laughs> This is the second year you're working with Aidan Gillen as well. Yeah. How's that going? Aidan's brilliant. The presenter is the person, for my money, the presenter is the person, his experience in the show on behalf of the viewer. And we've had some brilliant presenters. And he's, he's brilliant. I mean, he's brilliant. It's Aidan Gillen, for God's sakes. I mean, like, we couldn't afford to hire him. Naked on the toilet with a toothbrush in his mouth. There are certain musicians who've become a part of the Other Voices family by returning year on year, and none more so than Connor J. O'Brien of Villagers. Was beginning to dig in, and his back began to crack. And when he so you keep coming back here, so what is it about it that you know makes you want to come and play here? It's just it's so special. Every time we come here, we've like the best time, and I mean it's quite literally on the edge of the world, so that's kind of cool. You just, <laughs> you're just kind of looking out to the, to the um, vast ocean and, and, I don't know, without sounding pretentious, it's quite a poetic, beautiful place oh, yeah. and full of lovely people. Pleasure ring out from the caverns of my soul. Woo! 
Last night set the bar high, but more importantly, whetted the appetite for what's yet to come. It's other voices, day two.